This video is intended for people who have an existing home control system installed on a Raspberry Pi and want to use command line scripts to control IKEA blinds and plugs. It is also useful for people who want to control their IKEA equipment by typing in commands on their Raspberry Pi. To complete this project you'll need the following things. An IKEA HomeSmart Gateway IKEA Home Smart app installed on an Android or Apple device, an IKEA controller of some kind. To add the plug sockets to the gateway, you can use a blinds controller even though this isn't an option in the app, IKEA plug sockets and or blinds, a home server running Linux based systems such as Raspberry Pi running Debian, and an existing home automation system such as Domotics if you wish to run scripts automatically. We're going to assume that some things have already been done which are outside the scope of this video. The IKEA gateway is set up so that three steady lights are showing. You have the IKEA serial number and security code written down. These are printed on the bottom of the IKEA gateway. You know the IP address of the gateway. You can obtain this from your router's page. The MAC address of the gateway will be the same as the serial number, so when you find a device with that MAC address, it is that device's IP address that you need. You have set up the plugs and blinds into the IKEA Home Smart app following the instructions, meaning that you can already control the devices from the app. The process to control IKEA Smart Home devices from the command line is relatively simple so there are only a few items on the method. Firstly, we're going to learn a little about COPE. Then we're going to install libcope, then register with the Home Smart Hub, get a list of current device codes, find out which device is which device code, and finally send a test message to a device to change its state. Please note that all commands sent can be copied from this video's description text and amended as necessary. Constrained Application Protocol, or COPE, is a protocol which can be used to exchange information with constrained devices. Constrained meaning that the device network may be lossy and low power, an ideal candidate for Internet of Things devices such as hubs. As the IKEA Smart Home communicates via COPE, we first need to install a way of sending these messages to the hub. A good set of instructions appears on the website Pi Maroney, who provide great Raspberry Pi and other resources. As a bonus, they're also based in my city. A link to the site is in the description below. Their instructions were in turn extrapolated from a GitHub user called Header. A link to the relevant page is also in the description box. We'll be using these commands here to install libcope. They worked fine on my Raspberry Pi. Once this has been done, you'll be able to use cope to communicate to your home smart hub via your command line. The next step for me was to register a username with the home smart hub. This means that commands can be sent directly from a user to the hub. The proposed user sends a request to register along with the security key as taken from the base of the Home Smart Hub. Once this command was sent, the hub replies with a short confirmation message displayed after your command. From now on, you can use this username, in this example Harry, as a verified user. For the hub to maintain your username, you need to send a command or inquiry from this username once every few months. If the username expires, you can repeat this process to request access again. Then a list of devices registered by the hub is needed so that you know which codes are available to address. To do this, send this command to the hub. If the command was successful, a series of numbers are returned displaying the registered devices. To determine what the devices are, you can send the following command. In this example, the device code 65544 relates to a device called Harry Camera. 
And from the number next to 58510, you can tell that the control plug is off. If the number next to 5851 was 254, the control plug would be on. Finally, we're going to send a command to control a device. The format of the command is shown in the description of this video. By sending this command, the command plug device 65544 is turned on. 5851 is set at 254. The exact same command could be sent with 0 instead of 254 to switch the device off. Commands for blinds are sent in exactly the same way. In this example, the blind with code 65541 is set to state 5536 equals 50, which is halfway closed. Any number from 0 to 100 can be sent to set the blind to a specific location. To bring this all together, using Demotics as an example, you can create a dummy switch in Demotics to perform the action that you want, in this case, close Chester balcony door blind. Then using the edit button, add a link to a script which is placed in the Demotics scripts folder. The script is one line as discussed above to set device 65540 to completely closed 100. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing. I now have over 800 subscribers and for such a niche channel I think this is amazing. Thanks to everyone who's subscribed and I'll see you next time.